Hey, God bless you, everybody. Not going to be before you long. I apologize. I haven't been on um, in a while. And the reason for that is I've been very busy about the Lord's uh, work. So I've been doing some other things that the Lord has wanted me to do. And um, they kind of took over, took over everything. (laughs) So I um, haven't been on here. I but during that time I wanted to do this video so bad and um the this is old news cuz um the, these sheep going around in a circle um this happened back in November mid November and I I wanted to make a video as soon as I saw this I was like okay God I know that you're speaking I know that you're speaking even if this is a hoax even if there's a logical explanation for why these sheep are going around in a perfect circle for um at the time of the 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 writing or the the article um for 12 days straight there's there's a reason why the world is you're allowing the world to see this um so god does speak through creation god does speak through creation i'm not saying that a donkey is going to come up to you and start talking which it might because i don't put god in a box but there are things that happen um, that, uh, th- there's a, there are things that can happen on a personal level to you where the animal kingdom does something and you're like, that's strange. What is that about? And so sometimes God will speak to you through that. I uh, did a video recently on a hummingbird and, um, you can look at that, but that, you know, there was something that happened with that hummingbird, um, that I knew that the Lord was giving me a message of um just basically hope. So anyway, um the Lord is speaking through this viral video and you can look it up on your own about these sheep going around in in a circle for 12 days. Now, that alone in itself, most people who know their Bible can automatically just kind of surmise what God is saying. But I did ask the Lord specifically, specifically, now there's multiple meanings to this, but specifically, like, God, what do you want me to speak upon in regards to this? And basically, he said to me, or he showed me through his word that this is about the blind leading the blind. This is about being, uh, getting to the point where you're following after the world and you're following one behind the other and you're not going anywhere. You only, you think you're going somewhere. And because of the lust of the eyes, the flesh or whatever, um, you, you, you think that, you know, you're doing right. You think that, you know, I'm still in, for lack of better terminology, I'm still in, in, in God's good graces. And it's like God has has told you, has told you multiple times, like, this is not the way to go. You're not doing right. Or this, this is uh, sinful. And you have listened to others who have said it's okay. And others who have said that, um, who, who, who have wear the label, I'm Christian, and have told you that your sinful lifestyle is okay. And, but you know that God has told you it's not right. And you know in your conscience, and you know that you've been convicted that it's not right. And God is saying that, you know what, I'm going to turn you over to, to a reprobate mind. And, you know, these sheep are going around in a circle so tight. They're like, well, are they good? Are they stepping out of the line to at least get some nourishment to, to eat, to, to poop, to pee? Like, what, what are they doing? Like, they're just, they're so tightly packed that, you know, they need to come out, but they won't even come out. So it's like they've gotten to the point where they're reprobate, a reprobate mind. So, um, there is grace to come out. There is grace to to look and see, to look up and see. I, I'm in this cycle of 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 sin and death, and I need to come out of 
this uh, this wickedness that I'm in, whatever it might be. And you can, you know, list everything that you want to list. You know, you look at Romans chapter one. That's the reference. Look at Romans chapter chapter one. And um, so everyone is saying that it's OK, even, you know, like I said, people who wear the label that, you know, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm a follower of Christ, this, that and the other thing. And everyone has said it's OK. And you're following behind this crowd. And God is saying, you better step out of that crowd. You better step out of that crowd because it is a vicious cycle that once you get in, you're, you're, once you get in, then you're going to be stuck in it. You, you can't, you won't even be able to come out. And so there is a God and his grace is giving you time to come out. And, um, that's basically what it is. Now, I'm not saying that somebody else, you know, will come out, come out and say that God is showing them because showing them the God is showing the world this because you're in, you know, you're in unbelief and you're in a cycle of um, because you didn't ask the Lord and, you you know, you need to ask the Lord about um, how to get come out of a cycle. I'm not saying that there's not multiple interpretations to this, but I'm just saying one aspect of it. I'm just you know, doing what, saying what God has told me to say, that it is basically, um, God has given you grace, whoever this is for, given us grace. I put myself in it that, you know, God has given us grace to repent and to come out of wickedness and to come out and stop making it okay in your mind and saying, well, you know, God know my heart, you know, it's all right, whatever. And now it's gotten to the point where it's not even God know my heart. It's just, this is the way it is. And so stop kidding yourself. Stop kidding yourself. Um, so yeah, <laughs> kind of a different mess, different message than what I, I thought it, it was going to come out like, but what happens is, is that God will tell you, you know, out of his love to come out of certain things and, you know, he'll keep telling you and telling you and telling you and telling you. And then it would be to the point where you can't really hear his voice. His voice gets lighter and lighter and lighter to the point where, all right, go ahead, do you, you know? And I don't never wanted to get to that point in my life where God is like, all right, cool. Do do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't never want God to say that to me. And so people get offended. They get offended. You know, people probably going to get offended at this video. People get offended at God. Um, but God is not saying that to be mean. He's saying it because he loves you. And, you know, same way if you have children and they don't do right, you know, sometimes you got to give them a little papal and you're not doing it because you're mean. You're doing it because you love them. Now, you tell that kid, stop touching that, you know, get away from that stove. And they keep going there. Well, you might have to give them a little papal to get them to, you know, to, to get them to do right because you don't want them to hurt themselves, you know. And so that's how God is. He don't want you. He don't want you to, to be separated from him and go, go um, straight to hell. So, yeah. So God is saying, "Is come up, come away, come out of that, come out of that cycle." There's a there's a sin cycle that, and it's the 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 sin could be anything. You know, we make excuses for ourselves all day long about certain things. I got stuff I need to you know, get right about. And, um, so, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's it guys. I love you. And until we meet again. Alrighty then. Bye-bye.